Justin, what was the uh, biggest difference you feel for the team tonight? Uh, I think we were just competing on both sides of the puck. We won a lot more battles and uh, cleaner touches, I think, um, you know, off of our breakouts and we were able to kind of control more zone time and not have so many one and downs kind of. Um, you know, control play much more, and obviously the result uh, is what it is. So it's a you know really positive step forward for us. What you say about John? John's performance? Yeah, he was on it tonight for sure. I mean, he made some pretty incredible plays, and obviously uh, his second one was just special. So uh, you know, just a great game by him. Obviously, uh, you know, just leading the way for us in a game that uh, you know obviously we wanted to have a good bounce back from. How good is it to see a guy like Gio at his age coming to help pick up for you? Yeah, I mean, I think that's kind of. Uh, you know, what we're all about here. We always got each other's backs, and no matter what the situation is, uh, you know, we take care of each other uh, there. So um, it's not surprising, but obviously, uh, you know, it feels good to obviously have that support. Was that, some, was that something that was brewing throughout the game? Or like what, was, what, what happened in the last two minutes? I don't know. I'm not honestly not really sure, honestly. So it is what it is. It's hockey sometimes, and, uh, you know, stuff happens, but uh, it's over now, and you know, we'll move on and take our two points and uh, move forward. What's the win mean going into Boston? Playing Boston on the weekend, I think we yeah, it'll be uh, obviously a tough matchup. They've been uh, playing some really good hockey to start off the year, so uh, it'll be another really good test for us. How do you feel about it, given the way the last week has gone? Like you said, a good step there. Well, yeah, I'll take this. You know, take the good, take the bad, move on. Um, you know, I think we definitely want to just continue to elevate our pace, elevate our, our competitiveness, uh, you know, like we did tonight. And uh, we're going to continue need, we're gonna need to continue to take steps, uh, you know, moving forward, especially, uh, you know, like you said, this weekend playing another good team. So um, we'll have to regroup, recover, and, and get ready for another one. Does the only save the last seven seconds in the Yeah, I mean, I don't think that was the only big save he had tonight. He, he played, he's been playing great for us, and he, he played on, on his head tonight for us as well. So. You know, they're, uh, they're a good team. they got some slippery guys that can make plays, and he came up with some pretty big saves for us to obviously keep uh, keep our lead. And, uh, you know, like I said, he's been playing unbelievable for us, so it's been fun to watch him. Was that a little bit more like it tonight? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, we got to our game early. Even though we got down, I think we controlled a lot of play and, and uh, just putting pressure on them um, and just staying with it. Uh, adversity within the game, and, and uh, we had it uh, throughout the night. You know, we took too many penalties, and... They obviously got another one in the, in the third uh, to make it close again. So um, good one to build off of. Obviously enjoy it. And uh, back to work for us a couple of days more to rest up and prepare for uh, uh, obviously a, a lot of hockey coming up. Considering, considering how, how the last week has gone, did you put an extra pressure on yourself to, to perform tonight especially? Not necessarily. I think, uh, you know, you recognize we haven't been playing great and uh, we haven't been able to close out some games. Um, but we've, we've also, even though we haven't played, you know, the way that we're capable of, we've been in every game and we've had opportunities, but we just haven't finished it out. So just continuing to, to stick with what you do and the same approach uh, daily with being aware with what we got to get better at. And um, I think there's no secret, whether it's myself or some of some of our other core guys, just, uh, uh, you know, uh, in the way we want to play, the, the, the roles that we play within the team and, and wanting to be difference makers. So uh, no question, we want to come out and have a strong game today. How's the hat trick for you? Oh, it's good. It's been a little while, I think. So uh, always nice to get it. Um, you know, uh, you, you take them all. Obviously, it was it was a little bit of a different one there in the third one. But uh, um, you know, all around. Uh, anytime you have nights like this, it, it's a team effort, and, and uh, so many guys contribute. And, and I'm I'm just getting rewarded on pushing plays off. See, sorry, what did you see on the, on the second one? Uh, yeah, I mean, you got it up to me. I just came on. Uh, and I felt I had some uh, good gap and was able to drive the puck deep and. Had some ice to work with, uh, was able to challenge the defenseman, uh, was able to get around him, and, and then just really wanted to drive the net once I gained that step. And, and uh, um, lucky enough, uh, the first one didn't go in, but the puck didn't really kick, kick away, came right back to me, and was able to just kind of chip it over his path. How important was that goal, considering they just won the power play the box? Yeah, I wasn't thrilled about that. Uh, so um, it's just nice to get out there and get that opportunity. and. Anytime you get a chance to increase your lead, the, the better. So um, certainly I uh, uh, was happy to, to help contribute there and put us back in a good spot. What about, G, what about Gio coming in from flying in from the clouds there to defend uh, un, Unreal. Uh, I think, uh, you know, you can just see a um, guy that's been through uh, uh, the career that he's had, um, you know, the role he plays for us now, the leadership on and off the ice, and, and just how he goes out there and uh, 
competes and standing up for teammates um, just speaks volumes, I think, uh, uh, about our locker room and obviously specifically him and, and his character and, and the type of player and person we have in Gio. We got yeah, Boston, Carolina, Vegas, like right after this. What needs to happen for you to turn this into something? You know, what, what, what do you need to build off of to keep this going? Well, I think we need to have a good off day tomorrow, enjoy that, and uh, have a good practice Friday and focus on just getting better one day at a time and then our, our next uh, challenge. So, you know, instead of looking at things at uh, this many games, how many opponents we have, I think let's just focus on Friday and, and uh, improving what was good today, uh, building on that and getting prepared for uh, uh, Saturday. Did you think Konechny got you on purpose there before the first one, or how did you see Pardon? it on your first goal? Did you feel like you got clipped on purpose there, or how did you see it? Play out. I have no idea what happened. I just got the puck. Oh, yeah. on my first goal? Your first goal, yeah, sorry. Um, you fell down and then you hammered the puck. Um, yeah, I, I, uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of going blank right now on what happened. On the one time. Time. One time. Oh, yeah, sorry. You had, you had a few times. Um, sorry, I, sorry. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I wasn't sure if that was a heel pick or I got clipped, to be honest. Clipped. So I just went down and uh, got back up. And I was getting ready to go for a line change. And um, and uh, once I saw Willie kind of had it there up high and I had some space, uh, I just wanted to get a good shot to the net probably before I, I was looking to change. So I'm, I'm happy to see it go in. I got all of it. So. You guys have been in a bunch of 2 one 3 2 kind of games that have gotten away from you. Tonight, you turned up the other way. What, what, what was the difference? Well, I, I think the process in our game was a lot better. I think we were set up much more because of just the way we were playing throughout the night. So our ability to just stay with it and grab the momentum of the game back. Um, not to say, you know, games when you're not, you know, maybe playing at your best or the execution is a little off that we have to find a way to, find, to get through those. But we talk a lot about being comfortable in one-goal games, being either down or, or especially when you're up and you, you, you're in control of the game, especially late. So, um, but our process throughout our game today was much better, so I think it set, it us, set us up well. From all your years on the island, just to hate the Flyers? <laughs> uh, any, any team that doesn't wear a Maple Leaf, so. <laughs> so yeah, what, did you think of, uh, what did you think of John's performance tonight? Unbelievable. This is, uh, you know, his leader. He show for us how we need to play. What went through your mind at 2 on 1, seven seconds into the third period when you made the sprawl and left pad set? Ah, my work is really easy. Just to stop the puck and help it for team. You have to get smile. <laughs> and because they have tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> how, how good is it for a goalie when your team puts up five goals? Uh, when you guys score five, how much easier is it for you? Uh, probably 10 minutes after uh, third period, third period, 10 minutes, we got some just a free two. It's a tough game, uh, a little bit hard for me, I don't like it, but I'm not a lot of shots. It's really hard uh, because uh, all the time, guys yes, come three on two, two on one, a little bit confidence, lower back, back forward. Uh, but the results is great, this is what we need, we probably back to track. You get to enjoy a day off tomorrow. What do you do? I'm believable. I stay in the bed. We <laughs> 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 tired after California trip. It's so hard. Zach, you were robbed of a real good chance early in the game, but then you get the winner. How's that feeling? Feels pretty good. Um, it's a little frustrating, but just smiled it off and stuck with it, and um, got a fortunate bounce. What was the difference for your team tonight versus what we saw in the last three, four games? Um, I think everyone was aware of kind of where we were heading. Um, we, were, we weren't playing awful, but we weren't playing a full 60 minutes. And it was a conversation in the locker room, and, and we made the adjustments, and I thought we played almost the full game tonight. So. What do you think of John's, John's performance tonight? Um, I mean, pretty incredible. Seeing his, uh, his second goal there was, was a sight to see. Um, I have a lot of games against the Flyers being in Pittsburgh, so um, it was nice to see uh, see him pull that move on who he did, and I was excited <laughs> to see that. So You spent a lot of time with Sid and the Penny and players of that, though. What's it like now to see what Austin does and what John does and what Mitch does? It's similar to what you had in Pittsburgh. Yeah, um, I mean, same but different. Um, it's kind of just that caliber, caliber of skill. I mean, um, it's a little bit different, you know, they have a little bit different flavor and things of that nature, but um, 
It's pretty cool to be around. Yeah. When you look at the schedule and you see Boston, Carolina, Vegas coming up, what needs to happen to make this a start of something? Like, where do you guys have to elevate to, to keep it going? Um, I think just um, just our energy. Um, we were really good on the forecheck tonight. I think situational awareness. Um, you know, go back to that Anaheim game, three-one lead, and sometimes you just gotta know when to not make plays and just put it behind and, and play boring. So um, we're kind of adjusting to that mindset, and um, I think that's gonna carry us forward here. How about Mark Giordano jumping in at the very end to take down Oh, I'm sorry. What was that? About Gio coming in at the very end. Here. Oh, that was that was awesome to see. Yeah, <laughs> but I thought it was WWE for a second. But, uh, yeah, you always love to see guys stick up for their teammates like that. Is there exactly. your comfort level now for the first few weeks? Are you still finding one, or how do you how do you stick up? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Um, I think kind of just things away from the ring. Finally, got an apartment, settling down a little bit, um, getting into a routine. So um, it took a little bit, but I'm finally getting there. Is there anything you've learned about John Tavares that you didn't know playing against him now that you see as a teammate? Um, I mean, you kind of hear it, but just his habits, his work ethic, things in practice. Um, he's a nice guy. He's a really good leader. He's always encouraging on the bench and things like that. So, um, yeah. Did he say or do anything different leading into this game, knowing this winless streak you guys have been on? No, just business as usual. I mean, there was a little bit of a conversation about what needed to change, and um, I think the biggest thing was just, like I said, that situational awareness, knowing how to manage games. Was that a conversation with the coaches or just the players? Just everyone, yeah. What you were hoping for? Yeah, it was better. I thought we had, uh, well, we had good legs. I thought we moved the puck, uh, moved the puck much better here tonight. We had the puck a lot, you know, and. Uh, did a lot of good things. Thought we were, we were in control of the game, you know, pretty much from start to finish. Despite them scoring first, I didn't think it rattled us. Uh, you know, power play responded really well, uh, get us even, and then uh, you know we got big performance from our captain and a lot of good efforts from from a lot of people. What, what did you make of John's performance in particular tonight? I like that he scored three goals. It's it's a uh, it's a big night. I mean, you, you need and, and they're important goals, right? Obviously. You got 1-1 in the first, um, shoots one in the net there for us, and, uh, you know, second goal is, that's big time stuff. That's a, you know, that's a big moment in the game. You know, they've just made it 3-2, and, and you know, there's with everything that's been happening with our, with our team here, and you're trying to, trying to get a win and manage tight games. Um, we were talking on the bench that we wanted to keep pushing, you know, like I thought for a little bit there, we got, I don't want to say on our heels, but I just thought we were just, we were just sort of, you know, playing safe and defensive. And we certainly needed to play uh, with intelligence, but we needed to continue to push and play on their half of the ice. And, you know, I loved it in that, uh, in that situation. He drives it deep. Uh, it's, 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 a good, it's a good spot to take on a defenseman right there and you trust your skill set to do so. It's really deep in the zone, take him on. Um, big time play to execute and pretty much put the game away for us. I was going to say about encouraging the longer run so that you guys dominate the first big score, you come back with two at the end and kind of take, I don't know tonight that's important, but going forward it's a good step, isn't it? Yeah, that's what we're, that's what you're looking for here today. It's not, you're not going to come out and play your perfect game here tonight. You know, you want to start to build positive momentum as a group. Uh, and I thought we, that's sort of how we wanted the game to go as well, is build positive momentum, you know, trust that, uh, you know, trust that our game would be good enough to, you know, to put us in a spot to win and not do anything that was going to, you know, take away from that. Um, you know, obviously there's some parts I don't like about the first goal that we gave up and, and I don't like the penalties that we took tonight. Uh, aside from that, there's, there's a lot to like about the game. What does How, much say about? Like? How much did you like about Giordano in the third doing something that maybe his team doesn't always do? Loved it. It's another, it's another huge moment in the game. You know, it's, uh, it's a situation. That's what that's what the game called for at that moment. Gio's a leader. He's been in the league a long time. He's an absolute competitor. Um, you know, not known for a guy, a guy that's gonna you know fight or you know or anything like that. But he is an absolute competitor. And you know, in that moment, he's in there sticking up for teammates. And even even go before that. I mean, Austin's in there competing and sticking up for himself. Um, but uh, you know, that's happened a couple times now, and our guys have have. Responded 
um, appropriately in that moment. So that's another really, really positive thing, you know, to come out of it. And those are the kind of things that just help build your team a little bit closer. So, you know, that's great to see. Did you make a really save seven seconds into the third there after the break? That's what you Yeah, huge, obviously, huge save, huge moment in the game. Thought there was maybe three or four infractions uh, on the faceoff from the opposition, but but uh, it's the kind of play that not only catches, catches off our guard, uh, off, us, us off guard, but the officials as well, and we had to call on our goalie there. And, and, you know, it's a tough game for a goalie to play in. You know, not only you're not getting a lot of shots, but there's not a lot of activity on our half of the ice. Like even sometimes in games when you're, you're not getting shots, you're still in your own end and you're having to track the puck and you're having to move and all these things. There's long periods of time where, you know, he's – you know, standing in the net and kind of waiting for the next save. So uh, for him to make a big save at a key time and so early in a period, you know, that, that shows us that he was sharp and, and ready in that moment. And those are the kind of things you need to do. We've been talking about sort of owning each moment that comes out, you know, comes, comes your way as, as a team and, and individually. And uh, I like that part of his game tonight. I don't know if you're aware, but before the game, John Torrella kind of came to your defense and said, Sheldon Keith's a terrific coach doesn't deserve some of the heat he's taken lately. Um, how does that make you feel? I mean, not the first time Torch has, Torch has spoken his mind. Um, listen, I mean, you appreciate it. Uh, you know, I, I don't, I certainly don't need that. I know what my job is. I know what I need to do. Certainly, uh, you know, appreciate it. And, and, you know, I certainly appreciate his career and who he is and how he handles himself and, and how he's, uh, you know, how he speaks his mind on whatever the topic is, whatever he's feeling. But, uh, just leave it at that, I guess. What did you think about Pontus tonight? Yeah, I, I liked him. I, I like when the puck, you know, puck got on a stick. I thought at times he looked looked like a guy playing in his first game and sort of trying to get comfortable. Um, lot, the number of penalties that there were really took away from really any sort of rhythm in his game. But I really like him as a player, and uh, he's a guy that we. I'm happy to get in here and, and get him involved and to have another natural center. Um, I think he's. I, I, from what he's shown me, I think he's I think he's got a future in the league. So uh, to get him here and get him involved is, is really good. And you know, we'll see, you know, as each day goes, how it fits and how it all works. But um, we think we've got a, a good player there that's gonna it's gonna play a role for us here this year. And you're liking uh, what Zach Asterisa has been bringing. I mean, he's got a goal tonight. Feels really good about that. But what do you think? About him? Yeah, he's, for me, he's gotten better each time out. You know, we've taken him out of the lineup here and there, really not for anything that he has or hasn't done, but you know, just trying to get other people involved. But you can see him sort of gaining some traction here. And what I've talked about with all these guys that are kind of coming in and out is, you know, they haven't necessarily done anything wrong. Um, it's just you haven't made a statement that's like, I. I should be in this lineup, but the team absolutely needs me to do this for the team. And I think he's taking steps towards that. And today was a really, really good step in that direction. He knows who he is. He knows what his job is. And he goes out to, to give you everything he has to execute that. Um, and today, you know, a goal came with it. But there's a lot of little things that he did well for us, too.